Hey guys, it's Jack Meist here, and in today's video, I'm showing my biggest tank, my favourite tank, and a tank that I've, well, I should have shown in previous videos, should have made a previous video on. So, yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the tank, how the tank came about, and stuff like that, what fish we've got in there, why I got the fish, where I got the fish from, stuff like that. So, yeah, starting off, I'm just going to start with the guppies. This has just got random guppies in here. I actually think I can't really tell with the guppies because um, I had on one of my old videos I had four males and they were really old and a few started passing in here and I honestly don't even know if there's a male left most likely they're not but yeah hopefully the little babies grow up and there's a male in there I think there's about six babies yeah, I think I've got three females in there at the minute for definite and six fry babies, whatever you call them. And yeah, I've got ten um, Dalmatian mollies, which someone brought them into the pet shop I've been working at. And I was interested because the cute fish and she just gave them me for free, so ten for free. So that was pretty good. Uh, I don't know how many males and female stuff that the they're quite young at the minute. Um, I've got a long thin female bristle nose plaque, which the pet shop that I work at got it at a discount. I think got it for about five pounds, which isn't much for a full grown female long fin. Um, I got one black male molly, which I've had him for ages. He was bred ages ago. Yeah, I bred him. Um, I've got five full grown corridors. I think. Two of them are female and three of them are male. I originally got six, but one died from internal bacteria, which was pretty sad, but at least his buds are living on. <laughs> I've got, I don't know, I know I'm going to get some jip for this, but I don't know what this plex actually called. i just seen it, and one of my friends sold it to me real cheap. Uh, it's just like a tiger plex. It really doesn't like coming out. Yeah, and it's... Try to dig a little hole. It's been trying to make a crater at the back. It's not like these. They just go out that one, and the other one's hiding. Yeah, that's just a normal female, which it's the oldest fish I've got. I think I've had it about two and a half years. First fish in this tank, and yeah, it's the last. Wait, what? That didn't make sense. It's the first fish in the tank, and yeah, it's still in the tank. It's the oldest from the beginners. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, what have I missed out? Um, the lava rock at the back. Got a big piece of lava rock in there. Just threw it in, why not? Got some um, amino, amano shrimp on there. I think got about six of them. Yeah, they're alright. They're greedy. They take all the food. Um, I've not just got baby guppies in there. I've, um, where is he now? I've got baby Corys, I think there's about four or five, which yeah, I took them out and when they got big enough, I added them back. They bred from these Corys, um, they just laid eggs all over the glass and only five survived, survived, survived. I think originally about 20 eggs hatched, um, a few of them died, not from bad water quality or anything, but... For some reason, the fish they were in with had internal parasites, and I think a few of them got internal parasites, and by the time I could treat them, I think only seven seven of them were left, and a few had crooked spines and stuff like that, and they, they just didn't last. So I just kind of let nature do its course, kept feeding the tank, kept doing water changes, and yeah, only four survived, and I put them back in here. And yeah, they're loving it. Hopefully they grow up real big. Oh, what else have I got in it? Oh, one fish that I never see, and you might see on video. Usually hides in here. No, he's gone. Probably won't see him. I think I've got a clip of him from a while back. He, yeah, he's a, a cool eye loach. Just like him, black and yellow stripes with a white belly. He's pretty cool, but he don't come out often. So, I've got two female plaques, one normal, one albino, I've got that plaque, which, if you know, comment 
comment in the comment section what it is. Because I'm not too sure you can just see its tail there. I thought it was a royal plaque or something like that. I'm not too sure on the expensive breeds of plaques. I'm just trying to find the smaller plaque. Ah, oh, there he is. I've got one plaque in there, which is just a baby. It doesn't look that small there, but compared to that one behind there. Or that one. Oh, wait, not that one. Or that one. It's quite small. I'm hoping it's a female because I'm... I've been waiting to breed plaques for a while and it's really annoying seeing as I've got two females and I've got two that I can't tell the sex yet but yeah I'm hoping but it's yeah you really can't tell at this age it looks like it's going to be a female but as I say they, they just grow all that stuff on the face out of nowhere one day and you can instantly tell <laughs> so yeah wait no I didn't talk about the plants yeah, um, I'm not too sure on the species of plants. I just kind of, you know, which ones look good, threw them in. If they died, I took them out. If they, if they live, they live. I'm pretty sure they're Amazon swords. That's the only one I know, really. <laughs> I don't really do plants. Um, yeah, but they're growing the best. They've taken up the tank the most. And they've been in there the shortest amount of time. <laughs> so I'm doing something right for them. Um, what's annoying as well is... The little caps off the filters fell in. I need to get them out. And yeah, I've just got a few coconuts, a few river rocks. So you've got a coconut under there, a little ceramic pot. And one thing I do like, like is how thick the substrate is. Like on the bottom here, it's about it's about that thick, and it's all soil substrate, um, crushed up coral, sand and really fine dirt underneath plants love it and as you can see you've got roots oh, it won't focus you can see roots coming up because they've just taken all over the tank and i literally do no water change in this tank i don't think i've done a water change for about eight months on this tank the water is perfect in there everything's growing everything's fine there's no algae whatsoever does the plex take care of that and yeah, the only reason I would do a water change in this is over time you don't notice how, well, how do I put it, how dark the water becomes because of the, the bog wood in there as it releases, it colours the water, it dyes the water, it makes it like a tea coloured if you've got enough but it slowly dyes the water and you don't realise how much it's been dyed until you do a water change and it just looks a million times clearer so Seeing as it's had plenty of time to dial the water, I'm hoping I can drain it and then fill it back up and then it won't get as dark and it'll look a lot clearer. Because I've got more than the factory setting lights on. As you can see, I've got the two bulbs and I've got this, the bar on. But I don't know the bar right now. I'll show you what that looks like. So that's what it looks like with the bar on. Yeah, really good lights. But what I would recommend with a tank, and I found out the hard way, is if you leave your lights on too much, it just doesn't help anything. I don't know how it works, but if you leave it on for about six, seven hours a day, the plants just do a lot better, and the fish seem a lot happier. I, I don't know why. If someone knows, leave a comment. And yeah, it's basically this tank. That The filter I've got on it is just atrocious, and I need to get a new one. Um, look out for another video because pretty soon I'm going to be buying a canister filter off Amazon. I think it's the All Pond Solution EF1000. I know it's some 1000. And yeah, I've been hearing good reviews on it, so pretty sure I'm just going to get one, put it under there. Have better filtration than this. If you've got that filter yourself, leave a comment. If you, if you think I should get it, leave a comment. If you think I shouldn't, leave a comment. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments. Um, yeah. Oh wait, I forgot the ram. Yeah, I've got a German blue ram in there. He's doing fine. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Um, yeah, I've been trying to not edit as much out because I need to get used to talking without making mistakes and stopping and starting. So yeah. I'm not going to retake this video, hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, see you in the next video.